Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. Today is March 24th, 2024. The Lord titled this word, The Bear. The scripture he gave me is Jeremiah 50, verse 9. Today's video will begin with a short account of an incident that occurred two days ago at 2 a.m. on Friday, March 22nd, 2024, in my backyard. I was in my living room and had just gotten up to go to bed. I first did a quick check around the house, checking the door locks, turning off the lights and such. I was then startled as a motion sensor light in the backyard suddenly came on just as I was closing the blinds in the dining room window. It was very dark, but with the help of a small light, I was able to see some kind of movement, but I could not make out what it was. I kept looking and watching and was shocked when I suddenly realized I was looking at a huge black bear 35 to 40 feet away from where I was standing at the window. I grabbed my phone and was able to quickly snap a few pictures of it while it was near the light. While I occasionally had seen black bears off the sides of the roads when driving back and forth to work on our mountainous roads, this was the first time ever seeing one in my backyard. I woke up my wife so she could see it, and we both stood there at the window and watched as the bear wandered around the backyard. He seemed to be on a prowl, searching for food. At one point, he turned and walked toward the house and right up to our deck, about 10 feet away from us at the window. We were then able to get a really good look at him, and he stood there for a minute, looking in our direction. We could then see how very big he was. He then turned and headed back to the corner of the yard, back behind the shed and over the fence. My wife and I then looked at each other and said, wow, what was that? What just happened? It was quite an experience. During prayer later that day, I had been praying about the incident and what I had seen. I asked the Lord if there was any significant regarding this incident with the bear. And this is what he spoke to me. Jeremiah 50, verse 9. For lo, I will raise up and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of mighty expert men. None shall return in vain. And this is the word he gave me. My son, very soon the darkness will envelop the whole world. Confusion will be widespread, as will be the chaos. Bands of people will be roaming the streets, driven by demons to steal, kill, and destroy. Many in my body will be confused. Even though I have been warning, they have heard nothing. This is the time spoken of by my prophets of old and my true prophets of today. The darkness of the whole earth is my judgment on a world destined for destruction. The darkness afterward will be at the hand of the bear. My son, I have shown you a fat black bear when you have said it should be lean. I had commented to the Lord that it was very big, just, just coming out of hibernation. While the world thinks that they are starving the bear, he is actually growing stronger. Soon the bear will come against this nation. He will start with darkness in the form of cyber attacks. After a month with no power, many in this nation will be gone. The bear will strike with hyperspeed, and many will see and feel the effects. My son, the enemy that has invaded your nation will join with the bear to continue my judgment on Mystery Babylon. What this nation has sown, now will it reap. The bear and the dragon have entered into partnership and conspired the downfall of this nation. My body will be in total shock, for they have been taught lies and deceived into believing America will be great again. The king of the red states will go to war against the king of the blue states. Both kings are in allegiance to the bear. Both have made deals to rule over their parties. 
all will answer to the young prince who will bring peace, except to my children. My son, prepare those who will hear to stand strong in the faith, for persecution, unlike ever before, will come on them for my name's sake. Tell them that I will be with them through all persecutions. Many will come home during that time. Many will also fall away during the persecutions, not believing that to die is to gain. Many pretending to believe will turn in the true believers for arrest. The time is at the door now. The bear is on the prowl. Are you ready? Amen, Lord Jesus. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please like and share if led by the Lord to do so. Please see the description box for the transcript of this word. And if there's anyone out there who has not come to know the Lord Jesus, repent now. Ask for forgiveness and surrender your life to him. Time is very short. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.